The Asian tiger mosquito is native to subtropical climes, but scientists say climate change is helping this disease carrier extend its habitat to Europe and elsewhere. Ticks also benefit from global warming. When winters are mild, tick populations will rise, increasing the probability that these bloodsuckers will transmit dangerous viruses to humans. One of the pathogens they carry is the tick-borne encephalitis virus, or TBE. It's becoming more common in Europe. For five years, researchers have been monitoring the changing patterns of vector-borne diseases in Europe in a study called the Eden Project. Renaud Lancelot is its coordinator. We wanted to try to understand how environmental changes are influencing the distribution and risk of emerging infectious diseases. The scientists working on the Eden Project come from 24 countries. They found, for example, that tiger mosquitoes, which transmit the West Nile virus, survive European winters by hibernating. But they've also determined that climate change isn't the only reason why the risk of infection is spreading. There are a whole variety of socioeconomic changes connected with the increase in infectious diseases. For instance, after the breakup of the Soviet bloc, people in the countries of Eastern Europe and the Baltic countries were left in a precarious economic situation. With rising poverty, more people gathered mushrooms and berries to survive. That brought them into increasing contact with rodents in the woods. Finnish scientists in the Eden Project are studying these small mammals in their habitats and the crucial role they play in transmitting certain infectious diseases to humans. Typically, we have a kind of fluctuating pattern of the disease. That when we have a rodent peak, we have human disease, and then the rodents decline, and there is no disease in humans. But it doesn't disappear anything. It is in the rodents, in the forest, but in low prevalence, because the host density is very low. But it's always there. Scientists in the lab are investigating if rodents that have the virus can infect other rodent species as well. They use their results to make models of disease transmission, which they hope will help to predict future epidemics more reliably. This project has achieved a great deal scientifically, but another important element is that we now have a network of researchers from many European countries who know and trust each other. They can be mobilized quickly to react to a health crisis that can occur at any moment. And that's an extremely important result. So whether it's about viruses from mosquitoes or rodents, humans also have a key role to play in the spread of infectious disease.